Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with two full-size 45 handguns. Here we have the Glock 41 MOS Gen 4 versus the Remington R1 Limited Double Stack 45. Both are amazing handguns. Both are good competition choices and they align pretty well for the most part. Let's start with the Glock 41 MOS. I recently picked this up, very happy with it. Has a 5.3 inch barrel. Glock made this for a competition. This is Glock's largest 45 ACP. It comes with three 13 round magazines. MOS, modular optic system. What I have here is a Kraken or a Swamp Fox Kraken green dot. And it's a nice shooting handgun. I shot my buddies a while back that was not MOS. I said one day I'm going to own this handgun and I recently picked it up and very happy with it. Overall, nice feel, 313 round mags, no argument there. Other than that, you're looking at a five and a half pound trigger pull, maybe a little bit heavier with a short reset. Eventually I wanna get a updated trigger, an aftermarket trigger on this. But right now I just picked it up, so let's see how I do. We'll start up top here. All right. Glock's largest 45 right here. Glock 41 MOS. But over here, and I've had this one a while, is a Remington R1 Limited. When Remington made this, oh, by the way, the Glock is mid 600s. This is over a grand, closer to $1,200 for this handgun. Five inch barrel, 80 series, 1911 with 15 round mags. Has a fiber optic front sight, LPA, adjustable rear sight, ambidextrous, thumb safety. Very nice handgun, PVD coated. Love it, I've had it for over four years. Four and a half pound trigger in that 1911 reset is so nice. Huge 1911 fan here, love the R1 Limited. It's really a shame that Remington went through bankruptcy in it and everything that, that they went through because their R1 series was nice and I consider this their best 1911 that they produced. It has a flared magwell, once again, made for competition. Forward serrations, overall, very nice 1911. Full length guide rod, and I like the way that fiber optic front sight pops out. Let's see, we'll go with the one on the bottom here. We'll knock over, we'll knock over the other one. There we go, eight inch up top. And that's it. So we're looking at two very different handguns. I remember I did a comparison with this and the Glock 21, but here we have the Glock 41, a little bit larger. I have a fondness for both of them. I think they're both very nice. 45 ACPs, both double stacked, no doubt. Optic ready. I think if Remington would have stayed in the market that they would eventually make this with optic ready but it's not which one would i choose well if price wasn't a factor i'd go with the r1 limited all day long i love the 1911 but price is always a factor there's no doubt this is twice the cost of the glock 41 mos both competitive handguns both do exactly what they're supposed to do so here we have Two double stack 45 ACPs. If I had to choose one, I'm going with the R1 Limited. But if price was my deciding factor, I'd certainly go with the Glock 41. So happy to have this. It's what I've wanted for years now, and I have no regrets with my purchase. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.